Uh, and let me try to give you an update. On UN and its briefing on the 15th of April on Sri Lanka has continued with its usual criticisms on the rebels and soft requests to the government, exposing its toothless nature, as the civilian casualties on the ground mount to unprecedented proportions. While conceding that the so-called no-fire zone has become a brutal killing field for innocent civilians, John Holmes the Under-Secretary General for Human Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator had cleverly avoided criticizing the government of Sri Lanka for the carnage. Asked of the evidences in support of UN's claims that the rebels are stopping fleeing civilians, Mr. Holmes said that he had the information from a staff and the ICRC. It should be noted that the UN was officially expelled from the war zone by the Sri Lankan government last year, in order to wage a war without a witness. Only a few members who got trapped in the zone were able to come out recently and are now being cited as evidences by Mr. Holmes on his claims against the rebels. These UN escapees are now being held by the government in custody, and whether they are making voluntary statements is left a lot to be desired. Even the UN does not have access to these workers and is unable to put pressure on Sri Lanka against this unlawful captivity. Asked of the number of casualties on civilians, Holmes said that he had no information on that item. Why the UN did not ask its same staff members on who is killing the civilians and how many have died so far remains a puzzle. The Tamil Tiger rebels have again asked for an immediate ceasefire and invited the UN to make an official visit to the no fire zone to find out the truth firsthand instead of resorting to speculations. Richard Anderson, Web News Service, Melbourne, Australia.